Zane Gray once wrote, every fishing water has its secrets. A river or lake is not a dead thing. It has beauty and wisdom and content. And to yield up these mysteries, it must be fished with more than hooks. Everybody loves time at the beach. This journey to the water's edge is not only to learn how to fish the surf, but to discover how much fun it is. Whether you're fishing or just keeping company, the secrets of the surf are more than just tips, tricks, and how-tos. If we study this beach at low tide, it can draw a map for us of what this is all going to look like as the water floods in and the tide rises. Not to mention what a great time to go looking for seashells with the family. So what does this shoreline tell us? What are we looking for? All fishing waters have their own particular characteristics. Discovering them is going to be just one more of the pleasures you add to the experience of fishing. Lee Sampson shows you all you need to know to land your prized catch. Everything from the coastline to the fishing line, from the right bait to the dinner plate. The first thing we want to know something about is the water. Now on every coastline, whether it's sandy, rocky, a pebble beach, whatever the features of that coastline are, they're going to be instructive to us in some way. Actually, anytime you see something unusual on the beach, something that looks different from whatever else you've seen before, stop to take a look. It could be food. And where there's food, there could be fish. A basic tackle is essentially your rod, your reel, and your line. The word terminal means at the end of. So terminal tackle refers to anything at the end of your fishing line. Sinkers, lures, rigs. We'll get back to all that stuff later. The second knot to know is called the clinch knot. And this one's really handy for anything you want to tie directly to your line, especially lures, snap swivels, that sort of thing. So you simply pass the line through the eyelet and you'll take wraps with the tag end, take wraps around the standing line and then come back through the bottom of your loop and you're ready to clinch down. Casting is a lot easier than you might think. All it takes is getting a few basic points clear in your mind and then getting in a little practice. When the mechanics of your body motion join this thought, it's a moment of grace and beauty. It's as perfect as any great golf swing or that perfectly timed pass spiraling in for a touchdown. So let's do it in three easy steps. Okay, it's time to clean and store your catch. Remember what this is all about now is arriving home with the freshest tasting fish you've ever had. Let's cook. There's a lot of ways to cook fish. Frying, baking, broiling, stewing, and so on. But fresh fish just caught is unlike any other fish you've ever eaten. For me, that means keep it simple. Drawn from a lifetime of fishing experience and expertise, this is an adventure beyond the basics, beyond the shoreline. Come discover the secrets. Fish the Surf with Lee Sampson.